sir, but why are you booing? You'll have to excuse me, Sonny. I can't stop to chat with you right now. I must continue my booing chores. Boo! 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 Oh, boo! <laughs> ah, four o'clock. How about a spot of tea? That would be very nice. It's been beastly lonely here the last hundred years. Then why do you stay? Well, there must always be a Montague in this castle. And until one of my descendants comes here to live, I must stay and haunt this old place. Gee, Sir Montague, maybe I could find one of your descendants. Bully, Casper, bully! I hope you can find one, old boy. Sir, is your name Montague? Pardon me, but is your name Montague? By Jove! A ghost! Excuse me, but are any of you named Montague? Blimey! A ghost! <laughs> find a Montague. Mr. Inspector, will you help me find someone named Montague? I'll try. Montague. Hmm. What's the first name? Gosh, I don't know. Hootman! A ghost! <laughs> Gee whiz, I'm not having any luck 
like it all. London Dairy Orphanage. Maybe there's a Montague in there. Please, ma'am. Are there any of the children named... A ghost! <laughs> you did it. I'm free at last. I was at the piano, waiting for trouble. Trouble is my business. I'm a private eye. Music is just my hobby. A smiling Ed wants to see you. Who's smiling Ed? That's for not knowing who smiling Ed is. 80 million Americans knew who smiling Ed was. He was Ed Solvent, the biggest thing in television. I wondered why they called him Smiling Ed. He turned around and I got the surprise of my nine lives. He was smiling and happy. That's for being surprised. Now this is the real me. Happy, smiling, laughing. <laughs> and now, watch this. I watched. It was fantastic. They froze him for two solid hours. Ten minutes before showtime, he was removed in a block of solid ice and carried backstage behind the curtain. The ice was chipped away and the curtains parted to reveal Ed Solvent, still frozen stiff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we've got a really big shoe. Really big. Ed, you were really great. Uh, but where do I come in? Well, I want you to be my bodyguard. Well, uh, what about Junior? Well, he's leaving me because three days ago, somebody put seven bullets through him. Seven. And a big knife in his back. Really big. But he's so tough, it takes him three days to die. He's uh, due any minute now. A week went by. It was Sunday night, and Smiling Ed started freezing all over again. Don't I know you? Scaram! I'm sure I do. I never knew anyone could kiss like that. I couldn't breathe. My circulation stopped. I felt myself blacking out. When I came to, the freezer was open, Smiling Ed was missing, and a trail of ice water led out of the studio and across the town to a broken-down nightclub named Sloppy Louie's. <laughs> what time does the uh, floor show go on? Why? Uh, I'm the floor show. Yes, sir, is everybody happy? <laughs> I'll see. 
I came to looking at the ugliest man who ever lived, Sloppy Louie. And right behind him was the coldest man in the world. Uh, well, the two things I hate most are income taxes and private eyes. You, I can eliminate. Ah, I always was a lousy shot. I looked down at Louis. He seemed happy and at rest. But the story didn't jibe. What did he want with Smiling Ed? The pieces began to fit. Louis had been hired to deliver Ed to IOU, the rival network. Someone there wanted him very badly. Come in, come in. Aha! The Iceman cometh. Now, the Ed Salvin show belongs to me. For years, no other network could compete with the Ed Solvent Show. His ratings climbed higher and higher, while mine sank down and down. He was stark, raving mad. The war for ratings had driven him crazy. <laughs> but tonight, Ed Solvent goes on for I owe you. <laughs> Too bad you won't be around. <laughs> Sadie the Strangler? She was strangling me, slowly but surely. But this time, I passed out laughing. <laughs> I knew they would never get away with it. Because at five minutes to eight, Ed would be pushed backstage at I.O.U. And the chipping away process would begin. The I.O.U. Network presents... And now the curtains would part to reveal Ed Solvent in the hot spotlight. And he would start to melt. Because it wasn't Ed at all, but a wax dummy I had substituted. <laughs> the real Ed Solvent I had hidden in a water cooler backstage at PDQ. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we've got a really big shoe. Really big. <laughs> like I said, I'm a private eye. Music is just my hobby. Thank you. 